guys welcome back to another video um i'm doing a scrap video today like i said i mean a lot of you guys like to look at them i guess some of them do pretty well i got a couple thousand on the one so just going to keep the scrap content coming too whenever it comes closer to summertime is when it really picks up um i'm filthy i picked up a hyundai sonata today i don't know the year honestly didn't even look it runs it drives no title um kind of unfortunate might have been a decent little car i mean it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing but anyway it's not gonna happen um cut the manifold off cut the cat off so i'll just make it short and sweet uh point of contact reached out to me today said hey got a car for you um he works at an apartment complex so it really helps out and uh, i went up looked at the car <laughs> try to base the car off a of scrap weight which uh, right now scrap weight's pretty high it's 1050 100 so how you're going to look at that is actually let's walk right over here. so these numbers aren't nope that's tire okay well normally it's going to be right here in the door yeah right there so 2300 gross um that's shooting very high for how small this car is um, but the cheaper these cars are, the more, um, that the materials are actually worth on the converter. So you see, cut that off, which cut and cast, by the way, fucking miserable. But, um, through the years of doing the converters and how much money we've made, surprisingly, the higher end cars that you would think that would like a Mercedes, BMW, like Porsche, things like that, that we've gone through, um, the material in the converters are actually not as good as the cheaper cars. So like your throwaway cars, like a Hyundai, a Cavalier, uh, a Neon, Kias, all those cars that were like earlier, those are the ones that are actually worth a lot of money in converters. Um, like a Kia we got, was worth like $1,300 for one. So like the cheaper cars, at least that's what we've been told. I can't confirm that, but the cheaper cars, the materials and the converters are worth a lot more. So let me show you how small this one is. And then whenever I go to sell it um, to my point of contact, I will show you guys how much I'm So it had a really, really big manifold on it, but this is literally all the size of the converter. So try to do, I guess, a little bit more review. So whenever you go to sell these, you can't see because it's dark. They want to make sure that they're seeing both sides of it. And you can see when that material starts getting in that condition, it means that it's going to actually start deteriorating and start falling apart. And when you go to sell these, these could bring in, I don't know, I'm really hoping this one brings in five, $600. That'd be nice. Um, maybe more. I can't really tell with the Hyundais and Kias early ones because they are, they bring it in. But anyway, when the material starts looking like that, Luckily, I got the car when I did because this converter was going to start falling apart. And obviously, when this material starts falling apart, you don't make as much. Guys, I'm not going to do a part two. Um, I'll update this video if you're still watching at this point. I'll update this video whenever I sell the converter. Paid $200 for the car. I don't know if I got to that point. Paid $200 for the car. I'm going to sell it to a buddy that does Enduro races for $400. Profited $200 already right off the rip. Um, for me picking the car up and cutting the converter... I had two hours in the car, which kind of sucks, but that cast was a bitch. But anyway, um, I have two hours in the car. I'm hoping to make 500 on the converter and 200 on the car, so $700 for two hours. Not the best money in the world, but let's hope and pray that that's how this pans out. I'll show you guys real whenever I sell the converter exactly what it makes. All right, guys, so it's probably two days later since I got that car, and I made the first videos that you guys saw with me cutting the converter off and everything else and I was putting my guesses out on what I was going to make on the car um I thought that the converter itself was going to make me 500 unfortunately I came up a little shy on that the prices are lower than what I anticipated um so I ended up cutting the converter off I made 250 dollars off that and then posted the car on Facebook marketplace for an enduro car or a derby car um which a lot of people are really pretty good about that you you have a window um, that you can post those cars up for between three and $500. Um, maybe more depending if it's like a van or a truck or something like that. But for the most part, like a little four cylinder car, uh, those are normally about $500. So I posted that up and ended up selling it for $400. So bought the car for 200, made 200 on the car and made 250 on that. So $450. 
calculate your hours because I always say you got to break it down whenever you're doing it under a business as far as work. So for two hours, $450, that's overshooting how long it actually took, but you just have to break it down that way. So when you bill things under your LLC and all that fun shit like that, you want to make sure that you're doing that that way. So anyway, $450, two hours, not too bad. So that'll, I don't know. I kind of make videos like this from time to time. I don't really make them that often, but uh, Cummins content is, I got my wheels on. I need to make a video on that, do like a little uh, cinematic stuff with it. Um, so that it looks pretty good, but if you guys like this content, like the video, sub, it helps. Uh, I think I'm at about 1,800 subs now, which I really appreciate that. Um, everything's going really well. So guys, support those who support you. Until next time.